All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. I was just able to catch ourselves in the nick of time right here at the chopper event. So I thought, all right, before we get into the meat of today's video, why don't we go ahead and turn some of these fellas into some mince meat ourselves? What is the meat of the video today going to be? Oh my god, why is it always this guy? Don't tell me it's going to be the zombie horde again. Hold on, my friend. I gotta deal with you very quickly. I got some shotguns that need taken care of. I've, I, you know, I got too many shotguns lying around. So excuse me while I use them on you. And then we'll use the AK on his friends who are gonna come. Hello, buddies. How you doing? Oh, God. They got some guns, man. Oh, my God. Those are some powerful guns. What was that? Now, don't tell me there's about to be another zombie horde coming through. All right. We got some good stuff. Did they break any of my clothes? No. Hello! That's a ton of SWAT gear. I'll take that. But hope you guys are having yourselves absolutely a fan fantastic day. Me? Today? Well, I said I was ready to go to war. I wasn't planning on going to war with these guys, but they got in the way. So I went to war with them anyway. And I'm gonna use some of that very strategically. We are definitely gonna need some of that. I'll eat a little bit too. It doesn't look like the zombies are coming through this time, which is good. I guess that's an improvement over... What's been happening, unless the zombies come when we're a little bit more north. But by the looks of it, I don't see a gigantic zombie horde, so that's good. We can loot in peace, unlike last episode. Seriously, what the hell happened last episode? I still can't figure out what was going on there. Uh, oh, we got some bauxite. I might be able to turn that into some aluminum. Not my highest priority, but it's up there. But yeah, I hope you guys had yourselves absolutely a fan fantastic day. Today, the game plan for me is I want to go to war. And I'm going to war with a fella referred to as the traitor. He has scammed me one too many times and I am sick and tired of it. So that's why I had all those kind of guns ready to go. I thought, hello, I like what I see here. Uh, why don't we, we got some slots back at our chopper. I'm gonna head over there. Hopefully we can lure the dealer out of hiding and attack him. Hopefully we can bring the right weapons for the job as well. Cause I want to see what we could get out of attacking such an entity. Reminder though, Weekly giveaway going on. Tomorrow, the winners are going to be announced. Today is your last day to go ahead and get your entries in. So if you guys want to be entered into the giveaway, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below. At some point in this video, I'll ask you guys a question because I always like asking questions to kind of kind of spur, spur discussion. You know what? I already got a question for you guys. If you had the option and the resources, which I may potentially have the resources to pull this off, to kill the dealer, would you do it? Because, I don't know, dude, the dealer is just like, he's he's a scam artist, man. Like, sometimes he'll give you a gun, but it's pretty much, it's it's not, it's, it's not, it's no fair, man. It's no fair. I'm gonna go ahead and steal some of this gas, though. We're gonna pour it into our favorite place, known as our own chopper, so we can save a little bit of gas in this entire fiasco. And yeah, the zombie ore doesn't come through. This is definitely an improvement over what we're used to. Let's pour the rest of that gas in. Then, oh no, it dele- oh crap, my inventory was too full. It deleted the bottles, oh no. Well, it's gone forever now. Nothing we can do about that. But definitely let me know in the comment section, what would you guys do with the dealer? Would you be merciful, let him live, continue trading with him, or just out of pure anger and spite with his scam artist ways? That's a lot of paint, by the way. I don't think I've ever gotten four red paints in one, that's pretty good. And I'll leave behind that katana, that thing was about to break anyways. Other than that, I'm pretty happy with what we got. This was definitely the poopiest chopper event I've got yet, but I can't complain. A chopper event's still a chopper event, and we got a pretty nice M16. That's what I love about the chopper events. After you get a chopper, all you need to do is come here, have a couple first aid kits, and have a gun of any kind. Like, I had an AK that was almost totally broken down, and like, two shots out of a shotgun. And look, we were able to get multiple guns back. Like, honestly, chopper events are the best events, I feel like. But that's another question I'd love to hear from you guys. What do you personally think of as the best events at this moment? I'll leave that half behind, TBH. What do you guys personally think of as the best events out there at this very moment? I might take that cloth back as well. But what do we leave behind? Maybe not the shotgun, because we could turn that into, I think, some good stuff. I'll grab that stuff. Ah, uh, decisions to be made, man. You know what we could do is we could actually just, uh... Oh, uh, no, not that. I was gonna say, why don't we toss some of our own boots, put on some of these, and then we can go home with this paint. Because, uh, actually, no. I thought there was more paint. Never mind. If it's red paint, I might pass on the red paint. I don't know what possessed me. Uh, not blue paint. Dude, I, I'm, not, I'm saying the wrong colors. I'm sorry. It's a little bit late. 
my mind is all mumbo jumboed. God knows what's going on. All I know is right now, we got a chopper full of loot, which means we're gonna be heading back, tossing it into the supply stores. Those stores are getting quite thick, by the way. Multiple C's. I wonder if an event has happened. No, we're pretty eventless right now. We still got about two days. Oh, look at that. Exactly two days. Yeah, we got right about two days to go ahead and clear out the bunker. I think there's still... Uh, we cleared out most of the third floor. We didn't even start the second floor, so we'll potentially do that maybe in the next video. I don't know. We'll definitely see. Maybe at the tail end of today's video, we'll go there a little bit if uh, things are not going super or not uh, brain farting. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah, just in case we're able to kill the dealer successfully rather early on, you know, we'll go ahead and hop over there. Try to grind a little bit of progress because the bunker is a something you always want to grind, especially for those red tickets. Those red tickets are a godsend. They are amazing. But back to what I was saying for the giveaway. Go ahead and answer one of those questions, right? And uh, along with that, just make sure to like the video, make sure you're subscribed, and you will automatically be entered into the giveaway for a $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card. Winners are announced on Saturday. What I'm gonna do is pick a random Last Day on Earth video from last Saturday to this Friday today, and take things from there, and then uh, announce the winners and whatnot, and it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna pick a random dude from the comments, make sure that he is, uh, what should I call, dude? My brain is so farty today. I apologize. It's late night. Uh, just make sure that he liked the video and that he's subscribed. If not, I'll just keep randomly picking people till someone is. Yada yada. And then, yay! Twenty-five dollar Play Store gift card for everyone. And then Saturday will be the first video that you can enter for the next giveaway after that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and organize our stuff a little bit. While that organization is happening, I have something super amazing to show you guys. Check this out. So Kafir, the last day on Earth devs, just posted this screenshot with the caption, we'll share a small preview of one of the future updates. Soon you'll be able to improve already existing sets of armor. Look at that. So not only, look at that, you're gonna be able to make current armors better. So the way that I'm seeing it here and the way I'm understanding it is uh, over there on the left, what you can see is you have like the normal clothes. You're gonna be able to toss some sort of like maybe leather looking type material on it to improve it and make that certain, like make the uh, clothes, like make the cloth clothes better. Same thing goes for the thick jacket. You'll be able to turn the thick jacket into some like armored scrap armor, maybe use some like scrap items, scrap metal, something like that. And then all the way on the right, you can see military armor, which is improved with what looks like maybe aluminum plates or like iron bars or something, because it looks crazy, dude. Look at that armor on the right. And then what I think you guys can see, uh, you guys can actually see a potential second helmet right there in the top right. I don't entirely know what the deal with that is, but you're kind of seeing it there. And then at the bottom of the screenshot, you can see some of these different like small sketches of, uh, what you call? You can see these small sketches of how the armor improvement potentially works. So it seems really cool because it's not like you're upgrading your cloth armor into thick armor, your thick armor into military armor, but each set of armor will have upgraded versions, which to me, honestly, is super freaking cool. You're gonna be able to turn cloth into like that. You're gonna be able to turn thick clothes into something better. And then military, dude. Oh my god, I look like the god. I want to be the goddamn Terminator with something like that. That looks amazing. So let me know in the comment section. This could be your comments. Enter into the giveaway as well. All you gotta do is like and subscribe as well. Like I said, winners announced on a Saturday. All right, that's gonna be going on real soon. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this. And potentially, do you think that they might make the SWAT armor upgradable? Could you imagine the SWAT armor with some upgrades? Ho 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 ho! That would be filthy. But let me know what you guys think of this so far. Honestly, Dude, I never even thought of this as a possibility, but now that I've seen it, I'm just like, yo, this is freaking awesome. Because, like, you can turn a lot of your, like, you guys you guys have seen my chest. You guys see how I have a ton of armors around in there. Imagine being able to invest some resources into making those even better. Because holy hell, especially that one on the right, dude. I don't know. That one's just really catching my eye. So, I mean, we know the one on the right is going to be the best. But let me know your guys' favorite, like, coolest looking one as well. Like, which one do you like the most? And how do you think it's going to work? Do you think, like, maybe the left one's going to take leather? Like, what I think, left one leather. Middle one's going to take, like, uh, scrap items. Probably, like, some duct tape and stuff, too. But middle one's probably going to take some scrap metal. Because uh, that looks like about, that looks like a scrap iron it looks like scrap iron to me and then on the right maybe like iron bars or maybe even aluminum or something 
I don't know. But either way, dude, this screenshot's so awesome getting to look at it. I'm really excited for it. I hope you guys share my excitement as well. So definitely let me know what you guys think of it in the comment section down below. I cannot wait to discuss this with you guys. That's what I love about making videos, too. We get to talk about awesome things like this together. I don't have to keep it to myself and just talk to myself in the mirror like, Yo, that armor was awesome! Instead, I get to talk to you guys about, Yo, how awesome that armor is! It's awesome! I don't know. At least in my opinion. My opinion is never the go-to, though. You know, it's just an opinion. That's all. So go ahead. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about it. I would love, love, love to hear what you say. But other than that, that is going to wrap it up for talking about this little armor. Let's hop back into the video, shall we? All right, guys. And by the looks of it, I'm looking pretty prepared. As you can see, we got our ragtag, all sorts of different guns here. We got two AKs, two shotguns. They are a little bit worn down. That's just because, listen, if we die, at least we won't lose full quality stuff. This is a risky maneuver we're doing, but to hell with it, to get rid of the evil man known as the dealer. He's gotten us like a gun once, I think. We are going full police military SWAT mode. We got multiple guns. Hopefully we can dish out a little bit of damage. If the dealer can survive the rest of the durability of these things, I will be impressed to say the least. Other than that, I'd say we're looking pretty good. Uh, oh yeah, I'll probably go ahead and toss this military gear into some chests just so we could get it back at a later date. Because listen, I might be borderline suicidal right now with a uh, suicide mission going on right now. But listen, that doesn't mean that I want this stuff to go to waste. And I'm just trying to find an empty slot somewhere in my good chests. There we go. I was speaking of the devil. That's the thing that had the most empty slots. So we got a ton of guns. Uh, we probably should cop ourselves a little bit of the food as well. We're starting to get a little bit hungry on that side. Potentially do some base building, a little bit of base rebuilding. Now that that has started to decay, and should worst comes to worst, I say we bring... Let's bring a crappy saw blade mace too. Maybe we could melee him. I don't know what weapons, I don't know what tricks the dealer is gonna pull out, but... I'm gonna, I gotta be ready for him. And that's the plan right now, that's what I'm trying to do. So let's snake our way out of the base. And start galloping... Towards our final destination. What might be our final destination, who knows? If we kill that dealer though, I really wish that we can take all of his stuff. That'd be awesome if we could just loot him for a bunch of things. From what I've been reading in the comments, apparently he's a tougher fella to kill. Uh, what is this, an airdrop? All right. I guess we'll run around and do a couple of these event errands, or whatever the hell you want to call them for the time being. Maybe we'll luck out, get another pit stop. I still, like, I've had so many uh, chopper events. I've yet to get that one, uh, that one freaking one, the one with the pickup truck, and like the people are supposed to like, there's four people, there's a pickup truck, they're supposed to like betray each other after a while. Am I going crazy? Like, is that one the rarest one, or am I just really unlucky? I don't know. Now hopefully I don't catch the attention of our toxic spitting friends here. Cause uh, I'd rather not use the rest of the durability of this thing on toxic spitters. Hey buddies, how you doing? Don't mind me. Just coming on in here. Stealing the airdrop you're supposed to be protecting, and uh, being a great neighbor, like a State Farm or whatever insurance you use. If you're not using Star Snipe insurance, let me tell you, you are using the wrong insurance in life. I will say that right now. Hey! Not too shabby stuff. I I'm always a fan of rubber parts. Let's hop on out. I don't think there's usually not any more chests to loot here. If nothing happens, we'll go to a couple red zones, see if we can get something there. But it seems like every time we try to armor up, to take out the dealer, things just don't go our way. And I'd be very sad if that happens again. If the dealer's a coward, it's like he knows. <laughs> Last time this happened during a video, he knew that I was coming for him. And now he's gonna know again. God dang cowards, man. I might actually run back home really quickly, drop off some of this stuff. But also, I kinda wanna craft up some base improvements. I'm thinking that might be a good idea. You know what? Why not even... Ooh. Ooh, I have an idea. It might not be a shabby one. I also love that SWAT helmets and stuff, SWAT armor, it's not actually that expensive to make, all things considered. I can't wait for that repair station, man. Whenever the Oak Grove and Oak update comes out, ooh, that might actually be one of the most exciting things I'm excited about when the Oak Grove becomes a thing, because, oh wait, never mind, you need a Titan. Never mind. Repair station's not going to be a thing for a while. Sad face. Dude, assault helmets and stuff, god damn. That's when stuff really starts getting good. Look at how insane that looks. That looks like straight out of Fallout 4. 
Looks like you're wearing power armor. Sweet mama. Unfortunately, I think the one thing stopping us from picking it up, yeah. Titan bars. Same thing with the Kevlar? Yep. Titan bars. Why are Titan bars so central? What the hell? Is Kevlar more expensive to make than assault helmets? Well, that's weird. I also can't wait for the military backpack because we should be able to get that with steel as well. There's a lot of things to look forward to in this update, but honestly, let me know what thing you are looking forward to the most out of everything. Item-wise, that is. Let's say, hypothetically, the Oak Grove is added, and in it, like we're supposed to, we're able to mine steel, and also able to chop down oak trees. What would that make you the most excited for out of all of these things? I'd love to hear this from you guys. Personally, for me, I think the military backpack would be awesome, because you can do way more slots than what we'd have. That's four extra slots for looting. That's a lot of slots. Tactical backpack, that would take quite a while. That would not happen. But still, that... What else would there be? I think, uh, the trunk? Yeah, we could finally make a trunk! 24 slots. Oh my god, that'd be so useful for me. I'd love that. Or a home brewery, too. I'd love to make some beer back at home. I finally started collecting some beers, you know? I, You may call me a beer connoisseur at this rate, pretty much. I'm doing quite well off for myself. Alright! And with most of that stuff put away, and a brand new machete, Equipped. Why don't we go? We'll go over to like maybe one, two more locations. If there's no luck, we'll let the dealer hide for another day. Seriously, it's always weird how that happens. I feel like the dealer's always there trying to bug me until I actually want to see him. It's actually crazy. If you guys have been watching my videos, oh, never mind. He's come out of hiding. Today is the day, ladies and gentlemen. Today's the day. We try to do the impossible. <laughs> dealer, dealer, dealer. Well, actually, before I attack him, might as well see if he has any good offers going on. Because, listen, I consider myself a businessman at the end of the day. So, if he wants to scam me for something cheap, like last time... Okay, honestly, last time he cut me a deal, so maybe I'll make his death nice and painless. He cut me a deal of uh, cigarettes and, like, a broken iPhone. I don't know what the hell this man needs these things for, but I don't judge. Because he gave me a weapon crate and it had, like, a sledgehammer. Okay, deal in my mind. Yeah, it's, I don't... That's not awful. But, like, I don't care enough about the weapon you're giving me. So, Mr. Dealer, it is now that I declare you an enemy of me for what you have done. Why don't I just scout out your base a little bit here? Do 360s. I'm like a wolf circling my prey. <laughs> is that, like, what a wolf makes, or is that more of a dog noise? I'm circling my prey. Wish me luck, gentlemen. I have no clue how this will go. I hope it goes well. Ah, oh, the dealer is, uh... Uh, he just said back off? He just kind of casually takes it? Uh... Ow! Oh, Ow! Oh. Okay. He's not happy anymore. Shotguns do do the trick, though. Ow. Ow! Talk about a sniper. Hmm. I wonder. What if the VSS Ventores could be of help in this situation? Well, before we even try the VSS, will the AK do anything? Nope, he's immune to the AK. Oh my god, he's starting to hunt me now. Don't hunt me, Mr. Dealer. It's like he, he gets all passive aggressive about it. Chill out, bro. Chill out. Okay, he's not too happy. I think the only way we can do enough damage is if we bring back some shotguns. So what do we need? We gotta hit him 95 times? I sure as hell hope it's worth it. It's gonna be a hell of a waste of a shotgun if it isn't. Even if it is, to hell with it. At least I'll be able to show you guys what not to do should you do it. So I think we should come back with... How many shots does each shotgun get? Honestly, I might come back with every shotgun in my inventory. <laughs> we really gotta try and max out right now, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, this might be a good opportunity for that. Alright, so here's another thing. I don't know if the dealer is going to remember the fact that I just tried shooting him in the face multiple times. So hopefully he's not the type of dude to hold a grudge. Because that would kind of suck. And hopefully we got enough shotguns for what I want to do. If not, hmm, this may be troubling. I may have less shotguns than I thought I always had. I always thought I had a good amount of those buggers. I guess not. Well, to hell with it. There we got one full quality one. 
That's a start. Anything else? No, just AKs. We got the VSS Vitoras. That does 50 damage. Now the shotgun does 70. I'll bring a VSS. Maybe it'll do enough damage. I don't, I don't want to use a VSS on him. Those weapons are sacred. I only got like a couple of those. But I am pretty low on anything else. Hmm. We could try bringing a saw blade. See if that maybe does damage to him. We are going to need tons of band-aids regardless though. So I'm definitely going to bring these things with. Because once we get there... I'm just gonna bring anything that does high damage. To hell with it, I'll bring a VSS. We're going all out against this man. Maybe a couple more saw blades. A couple more band-aids. Yeah, we're bringing all of the band-aids. I'll try and see if I could acquire a couple more shotguns as well. But first things first. Let's hop on over. I don't want that timer to go down any more than it has to. Any shotguns here? No, my dude is thirsty. Alright, feed yourself. Get some agua in you. We do have some crates to open up, but I actually wanted to save those for next episode. So kind of a bit of a teaser, I guess. Start looking forward to next episode, but I do want next episode to be a little bit of an unboxing. Alright, so look forward to that. We're going to be opening up a ton of those modified weapon cases. That ought to be pretty fun. Uh, I'll bring a couple spare clothes here as well. Just for when, hit th when things hit the fan. Because they will. They will. So we know that shotguns can damage him. Now, I wonder if the VSS can do the trick. The VSS would be a godsend, because that thing has way more range than I think even he has. So maybe he would, like, kind of chill for a bit. See, I wonder if he's going to remember the fact that I tried to murder him. I wonder if he'll stay damaged. I don't know. Now, you know what I do know, though? Uh, A. Let's get rid of that. And B. Can I get some more shotguns? All right, so we have three full quality shotguns. I hope these things last long enough to do what I want to do to this dealer because this is about to be a bloodbath. I hope he's still hurt, by the way, so those shotguns didn't go to waste, but this is it, man. If we kill him, even if we get nothing to hell with it, I did it for you guys. At the end of the day, these videos are for you guys. So A, we got to say that we murked the dealer, and B, we get to, you know what, we'll, we'll just take over his place. We will become the new dealer. What the... Did we scare him off? What the hell? I was ready to come to war, dealer. Don't tell me you're a pansy. He ran off. He ran off. That and maybe he's still chasing us. What the hell? Well, we're the new dealer now, guys. Uh... Look at me now. Oh, look at me now. Oh, can I do the emotes? Can I start dancing? <laughs> Let's do a little bit of dancing, shall we? Hello. Oh, no. Didn't mean to do that. Well, I would not. I would never want to flip off the camera. Hello, guys. I wanted to wave to you. That's what I want to do. I surrender. Hey. Well, looks like we're the dealer now. If only I could actually take stuff out of here. Kafir, plus. It would be awesome if you could kill the dealer and take his loot a little bit. Okay, maybe not all of it. That'd be a bit of- Oh, no, I see him. I see him. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. He didn't run off. He just kind of went into hiding. Hello there, buddy. How do you do? See, I wonder if this will do the trick. A sneak attack on him? Oh, mama. That actually does a bit of damage. Okay, so the saw blade sneak attack can do like two damage. Two damage is a lot. <laughs> Let's see how the VSS of Vintores does itself. Nope, doesn't work. Just pisses him off a lot. Ah! The good news is, every time he gets pissed off, I think you can just run off the map, run back on, and hit him. So, you guys might be able to do this with, like, just a saw blade mace if you really want to. As crazy as that sounds, I think it might actually be possible. Because it looks like every time you hop off the map, he's like, oh. Well, I guess that douche nozzle's gone. No need to be an angry dude anymore. I'll, I'll go take my chill pill or whatever. And then you come back and he's like, Ah, oh, who are you? You look new. My eyes aren't what they used to be. Look at that. He totally forgets. So we can just kind of sneak attack him. Boop. Don't hurt me. And then if we get close again, look at that. He won't shoot us. He's a friendly dude. Sneak attack him again. Boop. Look at that. Ha ha ha. Suck it, he's not even attacking us. It's like he forgets. I think we're hitting him so hard in the head that he's kind of forgotten what the hell's going on. Yeah, for some reason when we hit him with melee, he has no clue what's happening. I think we're like performing surgery on him. 
Look at that. He doesn't chase us down. He shoots us till we're out of range. And then we're done. Oh, you shot my pantaloons off. Not the pantalones, man. No, not the pantalones. Oh, no. Yeah, but look at that. So we're able to chip away at his health. He's already down. We've already got him a fifth of the way down. And we just got to use a band-aid every once in a while. And other than that, hell yeah, I'm happy I brought all these saw blade maces. Okay. I'm actually happy that I didn't do the trick yet. Because I should equip this stuff first. Minimize the damage. Then hit him. Run a little bit. Ooh, I'm excited to see what loot this man has. That reminds me. Speaking of things that we got to try and kill. You know what else we got to try and destroy? We got to try and take out our friend. Well, not really our friend. But the big one. Because supposedly you can do it. It's very hard. But I was actually looking at Reddit the other day. And I saw someone do it with my very own two eyes. I saw it. And I'm just like, okay, this might be possible. We're going to need a ton of guns, though, and we really got to be able to maximize what we have. It's not going to be an easy task, nor an easy feat, but I think realistically, we stand a chance. So maybe once we, the dealer is like the stepping stone to the big one. This is where we learn to fight people who you can do like zero damage to. No, why the pantalones, man? What did my pantalones ever do to you, bro? Why you got to attack the pantalones, man? Always the pantalones for these people, eh? So it's just gonna be a bit of a chip away deal with him. I get it. Deal with him. He's a dealer. Ah, ha, ha. Got him. But I think I'm gonna slowly chip away at him. Let you guys know what's up. And then we'll talk after that. Okay, now here's the heads up though. You know what I just noticed? You actually have to sneak attack him with the saw blade mace. That is the only way you do damage, because I just tried attacking him without it. Oh, he, he wants to deal again. You can still talk to him. Look at how pissed off he is, but he'll still talk. He'll be like, hey, uh, I, st I still want to scam you, my friend. No worries. I'm, I'm a fair scammer. Ow. Oh, no, my weapon broke. No way. Don't tell me I'm going to need another saw blade mace. I don't know if I got enough. I wonder if the sledgehammer will do damage to him, too. I don't know. Dude, his weapon just broke. Did you guys see that? We just broke his weapon. Now he's trying to punch us. Ow, he does like three damage. Well, now that he's trying to punch us, I think we might need to switch over to shotgun rain. Well, now he stopped trying to punch us. It's like, okay, so I think what happens is that he only wants to do a certain amount of damage to you. And then he like gives up. Look at that. We get a hit in on him. He's like, hey, what are you doing there? Ah, yeah, yeah. He just punches you three times like, ah, ah, get over here, ah, funny joke, yeah. <laughs> Look at that, dude. We broke his weapon. That's how much he was trying to shoot us. This is actually really cool. Like, I know it shouldn't be happening, but as soon as his weapon breaks, this dude becomes a pansy. Yeah, what up? Just, just punch me, dude. Ah, funny prank, bro. It's like he wants to get a quick boxing match in. I never realized how weird this man is. He's just butt naked. Like, listen, I know I'm a, I'm a supporter of the No Pantalones movement, okay? But, like, listen, not even a shirt. Like, no decency. Sweet mama. That's so funny. I can't get over the fact that he just starts punching you. <laughs> it just reminds me of, like, fighting with your brother or something. Like, ah, get over here, Nathan. Ah, yeah, that, I don't actually have a brother named Nathan, but... Yeah, hypothetical Nathan brother, get over here. Yeah. Like, ah, I'll give you, give you a something or other. Uh, we need another saw blade mace, don't we? I might have one in my inbox. So no saw blade mace, but maybe we could see if the katana sneak attack can do enough damage to hurt him. I think it will. There we go. It only does one, but yeah. to hell with it. It's a start. I mean, it's going to take twice as long now, but eh. We don't have any saw blade maces. I'm not really that desperate to do it, but look at that. If you guys want, like, I don't know, we'll see if you get anything out of this, but it is possible to kill the dealer. We're making it happen. We're making it popsicle. If it's popsicle, it's possible, right? That's, isn't that some old saying of some sort? Oh, look at that. We are brothers. Oh my god, the dealer is my long lost twin. No. Juan. Juan, how could you do this to me? You betrayed me. For a pantalones, man. I can't believe it, Juan. I thought we were hermanos. <laughs> we are hermanos no longer. <laughs> yeah, especially because I'm stabbing you. Yeah, who's Juan, by the way? I don't know. It's this guy. 
When we're butt naked, he does more damage, but honestly, I'd rather he do more damage. And then I could just like... Dude, this guy has to be like Captain America or some crap. Because look at him. He's, he, he, he punches us for six damage a pop. We slice him with a katana. It's like, it's like not even a paper cut time. It's one damage. Like, how do you even... I don't... I don't know. Also, you guys better believe that we're not gonna kill him with the katana. Maybe you guys already know what we're gonna use to take out this poor man's life. Well, he's probably rich. He's out here selling stuff in the middle of the apocalypse. That's a booming business. Booming industry, but, uh... Listen. <laughs> if you think I'm gonna let this man go out in such a weak way... Ah, uh, that's where you're wrong, kiddo. That's where you're wrong. Four more slices and you guys will see what I'm talking about. Maybe you can already guess what I'm talking about. In which case, I love you because you know me so well. Two more slices. Dealer, your time is near. Any last words? Or maybe the keys to your car so I can get all that loot? I'd love that loot, by the way, bro. Well... This is how he goes out. This is how he goes out. Executioner style. Dealer, my friend. You are the first human. I will have the privilege of converting to our Lord and Savior. The Messiah. Known as Shotgun Rain. Any last words? No? Alright. Let's all join in prayer now. Shotgun rain! Oh my god! That was the most vicious one yet! Oh, that's so fitting. And he died over here. Well, it says he died. But I can't loot his body. Oh, what the hell? Oh no. Oh, baby, no. Oh no. I think he actually dropped something. But I think Shotgun Rain messed him up way too much. Okay, hold on. Maybe if we pop off the map and come back in, we'll get something out of this. But, oh no. Don't tell me you missed out on potential loot out of this guy. Damn. Well, regardless, it probably just would have been an item on him. I don't think we would get the keys to, you know, to his trader's outpost. As dope as that would actually be. This leads me to my next question I want to ask you guys as this episode is kind of coming to a close. I want, let me know. If you could make the dealer killable, right? What would you make the prize for taking him out? I'm actually very curious to hear this. I really want to hear what you have to say. And yeah, okay, here's his body. But it doesn't let us loot him. This is so weird. He has the X there saying that there's loot. But we can't actually loot him. That is really interesting. Could that possibly mean something? Could that mean that maybe he's going to be lootable in the future? I don't know, but I would love to hear from you guys. Your ideas. What you would love to turn this into. Okay, anything that you would like this with the dealer to become. Maybe kill him and you get like some... You can steal some coupons from his truck or maybe you can knock him out. Like maybe he never actually dies. Maybe that's like... Maybe there's like some superhuman reason. Like maybe he's like half a zombie or something weird. And he never actually dies, but like... He can only get knocked out. That'd be a good explanation for him. And then he can rob his truck a little bit before he wakes back up. Who knows? But that'd be really cool. But other than that, I think that is right around the time for us to go ahead and end this episode off on our war against the dealer. Our blood has been satisfied. So I'm going to start walking on back home. We got a little bit of a walk. And uh, we killed our first human who wasn't mean to us since the beginning. And don't count those chopper people. They never legitimately want help. They just want to mug us. Okay? I know. I know, okay? Those people are meanie heads. That is the first legitimately nice human we've met. Well, no, he's not nice. He's a scam artist. I forgot. Yeah, screw him. Happy he died. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to go and wrap it up for me for now. Again, reminder with the giveaway. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the video. And answer one of my questions in the comment section down below to be entered. Winners announced tomorrow. Cannot wait to let you guys know about that. Cannot wait to dish out the gift of the money, money, money. That's going to wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys all tough for watching. That was a fantastic day. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.